Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Hordes of the Underdark. Last episode, we spoke with uh, Tommy here, spoke with a djinn I believe we had found, managed to get access to a portable merchant, essentially, and managed to find and rescue the last of this little party here, uh, Linu. So all is well. Now, we have one more area to go into here before we can finally use the chains we have in order to, well, get through that final door. So let's go on. It was actually trapped and locked, but thanks to Tommy, we were able to take care of that. A large group of small humanoids has passed through here recently. Mm, they can smell goblin. And where there be goblin, there be goblin traps. You should be careful, boss. I'll keep that in mind. Good thing we have a trap. Ow. Trap Springer. I wish you had seen that. Oh, hello. You know what? I'll just... It's fine. I can kill those. I'm not worried. An arrow explodes, covering you in green dye. I have a feeling that's probably the point to that. You know, the sneaking isn't necessarily needed there. The paint on you allows the goblins to target you from afar. Ah! What a horrid taste! What a horrid taste! Oh. That's that group dealt with. Okay, green dye. Lovely. That causes problems. Stony. Okay. You got a giant to kill. The bigger they are, the harder they fall! Tommy, you appear to be having some problems there. And down he falls. Excellent. Oh, looks like we actually managed to pick our way in here. To uh, use a key in here, I didn't even realize. Right, what did this stony drop? Ooh. Stone Cold Club. In the early days of exploration within the jungles of Chult, a Kalimshan expedition clashed with a small tribe after removing artifacts from a burial site. A local shaman named Golkai killed a noble while trying to retrieve the sacred items, and the civilized invaders retaliated. The tribe did not survive. Weapons such as this were found in nearby villages soon after, accompanied by a silent apparition of Golkai, voiceless as his people. And not a Oh, only usable by giant. Well, that's gonna be sold. Uh, boots of speed. Definitely tempted to take. And armor of freedom. Ooh. After his escape from magical imprisonment, the warrior priest Archiel vowed he would never again be captured by sorcery. He devoted years to forging these suits of armor for himself and his companions, but ironically was waylaid by mundane means and died chained to the wall of an ordinary cell. And we've also got a plus two double axe. Alright, let's see here. Uh, full plate plus four. The armor of freedom has one less piece of armor, a bit of AC, but I think it's better in exchange for, uh, well, the freedom boost. As for this, con plus four or haste. I kinda like the haste better. We lose. Quite a bit, actually. From 180 to 148. Wait. Oh yeah, the haste. The haste actually boosts our AC, interestingly. So we become a little harder to hit. Meanwhile, we get... 148 to 180, that's... Thirty-two. We lose 32 hit points, which is a hit, but it's not bad. Deacon? Eh, you know what? I'll give it to Deacon. The 
Deacon can have more health. 106. Deacon has more health than me. You can have. You can keep that. Okay. That is not bad at all. And now we're going to be able to attack once more every round. And we run around faster. Which is very nice. Alright, wait for him to come back over here. Watch out for those other traps. That is a lot of fire. Uh, that was unexpected. Nice job on that. Alright, leave all of these guys down. Okay, that I'm not keen on, so kill the shaman. Thank you. One more. Okay, there we go. That could have gone better. Well, with Tommy dying, so... Use the rod. Tommy, you should have tried to be a little more careful. Right, moving on. Where's the damn pigs? Oh, there. Why did I put them there? Good question. Hey, Tommy, since you're here, to handle that trap. Yep, all done. Downside of running so fast. Nope, I didn't want to talk to you. Please handle that trap too. Yep, all done. You know what? Maybe I should rest here. Regain the health I'd lost so far. And here we are. Wait, not yet. And now here we are. All right. Oh! Oh my! I think that goblin is going to be coming after us in a sec. Oh yeah, this looks wonderful. Nice. There you are. Okay. Please take care of that trap, thank you. There is a lot of explosions and fire around here, and that is more than a little concerning. Oh, no wonder! There's a ballista there. Ow, ow. Yep, all done. Surprisingly, this is not that bad. I'm just gonna bash this down. Yep, all done. Okay, take care of those siege engineers quickly now. I am getting tired of this. Oh, 
Also, I am nearly dead. And I died! Oh crap, I didn't- I haven't saved in a while. Oh great, I will be back. And as the heroes makes their way, the faithful kobold companion discovered that his underwear was riding much too tightly. I'm sure, Deacon. Anyway, we uh, managed to effectively get pa back to where we were, more or less. Good news is that, uh... Well, actually, the bad news is I didn't get the armor again, so I don't have the freedom. I do still have the boots of speed, however. So there is that. i have you take care of those traps. Yep. All done. And I'm going to save before we go in there. Come on. Okay. Alright. Let us go in. Shamans are the biggest problems here. What the? Hey, that's the shamans dealt with. I can just open this door so that the door is open. Now, this time, to ensure that I don't have to deal with those gob with those siege weapons. No can do. Here comes half legs dead. There we go. All right, now I shouldn't have to deal with those anymore. Okie dokie. Oh, fine, I'll bash it down. See that shaman behind me. What a What a horrid taste. Yes, I get it, the taste is absolutely horrid. Okay. You know what, let's just destroy it. Can. Just destroy the ballista so we no longer have to deal with them. Gloves of a long death. Oh, that's monk things. How about the Hold on. There we go. Alright. Please pick the lock. And disarm the trap, too. Okie dokie. Well done. How about the Argo Blacktooth. Oh, he's dead. And we've got, ooh, a whole bunch of stuff, including the purple chain. We've also got a rogue stone, some coins. Belt of hill giant strength. Encircling scale for dark vision, poison immunity, and using poison. And planner mace, which is good against outsiders. I mean, we do already have freedom from the Belt of Agility, but I want to have more strength. The extra dexterity doesn't actually help us out. 
What are these levers, I wonder? Plus three thieves tools. Malachite and a tanglefoot bag. And in here we have a topaz and a displacement. Hmm. Alright, let's see what happens when we pull these. A sense of discharge of magical energies. A sense of discharge. A sense of discharge. doesn't really tell us anything. Uh, what are those levers, I wonder? They don't seem to have done anything that I can see. And there's such a large area over there. There has to be a hidden door in there. Stand here in detect mode for a minute. See if we can see anything. So it does feel like there has to be something here. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay, let's try putting these into every position that we can. So we've got... Down, down, down. Down, down, up. Down, up, down. Down, up, up. Up, down, down. Up, down, up. I think that's basically every position it could be in. Hmm. I honestly don't know what this is, and it's curious enough that I kind of want to know. So, sue me. I'm going to see if I can find a walkthrough just to tell me what these three levers are for. I'll be right back. I don't normally do this, but I just want to know. Alright, I'm back, and after doing a quick check, it turns out these have actually been causing problems for us this whole time. Apparently, that goblin was probably pulling these while we were in there, and anyone who was hit by those goblin arrows would have been affected by various things, such as a lightning bolt or something. I did not notice that this whole time! Anyway, let's get out of here and... Actually, you know what, I think I might actually end this episode here, just as just before we uh, go and use all the chains. We can probably sell all the stuff we're carrying, too. Well, we don't necessarily need to now. We can carry a lot of stuff. We'll be fine. So... Let's head on. I am disappointed that I didn't get the armor, but... Well... I mean, it would have been nice to have the freedom, even if uh, we did already have freedom and now we don't. Well, no matter. It's no matter. Anyway. 
I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll put the four chains back up here, back up in here where they need to go. Till then, I'm Chester44. That is Liam Johnson, Tommy uh, Undergallows, and Deacon. This has been a let's play of Halls of the Underdark, and I shall see you all next time.